right around the corner. I can see around the corner, and I see it's right there. And Ken Wingard's right over there, and he's working on this beautiful romantic tablescape that I think you should prepare for your loved one. Yes, and I want to say, like, we're doing this for Valentine's Day, but what I'm about to show you and the principles to this, and you know this, they apply to anything. If you're having a birthday, a wedding, just a nice dinner at home, you can use these principles for any time you set a table. Okay, so let's get starting. Let's get starting. Let's, let's, get, starting. Starting. <laughs> let's get starting on so, our tablescape. So what I what I did while you all was cooking was get all of our lanterns and really what you want for any kind of dining experience, you want drama. And this is a really easy way to get drama. You can get these for a couple of bucks a piece. I just hung them with a piece of monofilament or, or fishing line. And then I actually split some three inch Christmas ribbon we had in the craft room in half and hung that down to really give it a nice flowy feel. China, what are they called? China? Like uh, paper lanterns. Paper Lanterns. Chinese yeah. lanterns, yep. right? So really inexpensive. You do those in any color you want to. Mm -hmm. Now, for the runner here, Mark, if you'll help me, just roll sure. this out. Ooh, what kind of paper is this? This is this is a chalkboard runner, but I, just, I found this and I absolutely love it. You look at the back. Ooh. It's just contact it's paper. Contact paper, right? That's right. That. It's contact <laughs> paper. So you get chalkboard contact paper. Roll it down the center of your um, table, and mm -hmm. then write whatever message oh, you want. How lovely this! I wrote, "How do I love thee? Let me count the ways." For those of you who are thinking of proposing, I could see a little, "Will you marry me?" Just a little oh, hint, hand out there for oh. those of you who are oh, dragging wow. your feet. Oh. Um, and you can wipe it off and use it over and over again. So. The other key thing when you're doing is you want to pick colors. So for this, we're doing everything in red, black, and white, as you've seen me started here. And then you can use shades of that. So, Mark, if you want to bring over the just bases. Just real quick, then just pick three colors. Don't get, you don't want two different Right, you get more than three. Right. Like, you no can go with two fruity. or one, but That's yeah. That's for Easter. Yeah. Right, exactly. Okay, so we want to just pick three solids. And what I've done here is I've chosen a gray, which will tie in with the black. And if you can look, this is a pitcher, this is a trifle dish. And all I did was wrap these with silk ribbon. So Beautiful. completely easy, and all of a sudden, you don't have to go out buy vases, use whatever you have around. And then, Christine, if you want to help pop these sure. into the different vases, you also want to deal with multiple. So, I'm, am I missing a little one, a little guy? Little one right oh, there. there. Okay. Put this one here. That way, a bitty one. And so, instead of trying to do a big floral arrangement when you're trying to mix, if you're not an expert at it, just go out and buy a bunch of poppies, a bunch of zinnias, a bunch of roses, mm -hmm. bundle those together, and put each of those in your vase. So, and then we have a place setting. Mark, let me give you these over here. Do you need oh, me to? Oh, nice. If you want to start with the glasses. Sure. And then, you know, if you want to invest in something like a red charger, Oops. that's going to give you the pop okay. that you need. Sure. And here we have another plate over here. Look and they're how talking fun about this is multiples together. again. If you want something to look luxe, use multiples. We use multiples of the flowers. And now, if you want to slide the votas over, Mark. Sure. I use multiples of these. And you can buy these by the caseload online. A case is going to cost you maybe $15. And you pull these out at Christmas. You pull them out at Valentine's Day. And it mm. really creates a special feel having all of that extra. A little silverware. A little silverware. And Although, while we're putting on the silverware, let me show you how I made. These are our great little chalkboard um, Valentine place cards. I made these early this morning. Let me show you how I did it. All I did was start it with a scrap piece of wood. This is a great place to use up extra two by fours, whatever. I cut it to a nice square. You want to make sure it's going to fit inside your salad plate or your serving bowl. Once you've got your square, all you're going to do is just get a drill and drill two holes slightly off center, about a half inch or so from each other. Once you've got that, everything's drilled and cut, you're going to paint it. And I painted them first with a coat of chalkboard paint. And then, as I've said before, you can get chalkboard paint in all sorts of colors, so let that dry and then get red chalkboard paint and just freehand paint a heart on there. The more rustic it looks, the better. You don't need to get perfect with it. And then you're going to let that all dry, and then what you're going to end up with is this. And what I did was I got a yarn needle and a piece of yarn, and I just threaded it straight through the back here. Mm. And then I got a little vintage key. They look vintage, but you can get them at the craft store in the charm or scrapbooking section. And then you just tie a nice little bow on here, if I can, with my big chubby fingers here. Mm. There we go. And you've got that. Look at there. And now, because this is chalkboard paint, you can write a little message. You can use this like, like Mark Christina, who's going to sit where. And it's a nice little keepsake for your guests to bring home with them. Look how beautiful our table is. And voila. Voila. We Let's talk, need. Oh. Can we talk a little bit about the centerpiece here? Because yeah. usually you'll put it in the middle. But because these are so high, we push them back. Exactly. Because yeah. you don't want to have to move them. Like, if we were having more people, we could move these to the sideboard during the meal. But as Christina has said here, we just push them to the back. So we'll have sight lines, yeah. but we still keep our drama and that wonderful. Fragrance. We can't have a meal without a meal. Yes, we have to have, we a, can meal. have a meal without meatballs. Debbie, Debbie meatballs! <laughs> oh, there you are. 
Here I am right here. Oh, good. Here God. I am. Beautiful. Oh, absolutely wow, gorgeous. Look at that. Right. Beautiful. Well, come on, let's eat. Oh, oh guys. yeah. Lovely we'll Miss Christina. Your, there we go. Oh, Let me move you in here. Perfect. Let's do one more there. Wonderful. There more information on Ken's wonderful talents uh, and setting your table perfectly on our Pinterest page or KennethWingard.com is a lovely spot. Just serve me up one there. I will.